Welcome to another video. Today I'll be opening the Bose Soundbar 600. There is a slight dent here that I'd like to take or remove, uh, or take out should I say, and um, obviously we can't get access to the back until we open it. So the dent is here, uh, and something has obviously fallen on this, so we need to get rid of that. The soundbar is one of the new 600 smart soundbars, so let's open it and see what's inside. We'll open the screws from the bottom, so all the screws need to be removed from the bottom and two screws underneath the rubber pads as well. Once those are open, the lid will actually disconnect and if you lift it, it'll just come off and there will be two speakers because this is the Atmos version. So there's two speakers at the top and there'll be two ribbons on the side as well, which are going to be one ribbon over here that's connected at the bottom over there. And this is the ribbon for the buttons, which is right over there inside there. So I've removed all of those. So this is now disconnected. We need to remove the two speakers and get to the bottom of this. So if we remove the speakers and see how it goes, let's see if we can get access to it. They are magnetic, so it's not easy to get to the screws unless we have a screwdriver, which has got a shield on it, which I don't sadly. So let's just open it up. So that's one speaker. There are four speakers in total. Sorry, four screws in total. Uh, removed. I've already removed most of them. So we only got one left so we can actually see that from the video and let's see if I can get this out as well oops here we go so, and that should come off in a moment now yeah so now that's out as well so two screws come off and these are all the speakers and this sound bar here you've got one two three four five speakers two pointing upwards one the left one the right and one in the center there are no tweeters or anything in here. It's completely uh, plain from inside. I, I can't see anything. And uh, it's, it's pretty very different to the 300, to tell you the truth. And I wish the 300 uh, was built uh, slightly uh, less uh, complicated, should I say. But the 300 is is probably more powerful than the 600 uh, by looking at this soundbar so yeah it's uh it's kind of strange actually because you're paying more money and you're getting less output and it's uh, it's just because this they pointed the speakers that were in front upwards and obviously with the software change as well so we need to remove the grill right now so i've disconnected this so that's come off and you remove the grill to remove this grill the only way to do it is to push this out. So if we push it gently from here and keep pressing it from the bottom and they press it here as well, very gently. I mean, a heat gun would also help, but if we just be persistent and be gentle, I think it'll come off. So as you can see, the grill is now coming off. So with a bit of work around, hopefully the grill will all come off and we'll be able to work our way around and take it all off gently. And I'll continue in a minute once it's all removed. Right, as you can see, the grill has now come off. Basically, all we do push it and the glue disconnects <coughs> from, the, from the metal plate. And then you can see that this is all coming off slowly, slowly. And we can just lift it and the glue will let go. And we can carry on with our work. So let's just quickly do this. Go. that's all done it's not easy to do with one hand but I can manage there we are the grill is off and now that's where the dent is over here as you can see let's see if we can take that out hopefully it's not as bad as it looks so let's see if I can take this out see how it goes so by using a little uh, like a rubber mullet here you can bang this out and once that's removed you'll notice that this the actual dent is coming out on the back and you can turn around and that's pretty clean now so there's there's no dent on it so we're just going to uh, put this back together uh, and hopefully that should and put a bit of uh, <coughs> paint on it so it goes black again and that's pretty much it and that should fix that issue so the dent is now removed and we're just going to use a little bit of sharpie on slight area 
where there is a bit of silver has come out and now that's gone so you can see the dent is now completely removed and that's pretty much it and then hopefully we're going to put this back together and uh, see how it goes so this is the uh, the sound bar and we're going to put this back exactly as we have removed it make sure there's no dust or anything on there and we're just going to put this back and just make sure that we've marked all the areas that were um, the paint has just come off so that's going to look good and we have to make sure that the part that we're removing is exactly in the same place as it was come off so yeah that's that one there push it back in its place put our hand over it and that's you can see that so if I was to put them back on you can see this then it's pretty much gone. I mean, it's not as visible as it was, as bad as it was before. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, we can save a lot of time and and money by just making some changes. But anyway, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I mean, there's no point in me removing the front grill, even if I could, I can do. But there's nothing in behind this grill apart from this one speaker here that's pretty it's got a circuit board here then you've got the heat sink at the back what they've done in this one is they've got a massive heat sink for the power supply and then you've got the mains cable you've got the infrared the base module if you want to put it into uh, using the RC, the RCA cable well not RCA but the jack and optical in if you want to connect it or then you've got the ARC which is the HDMI input so yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a small soundbar, it's not, not big at all, uh, if I was to measure it, I can even measure it right now. So the soundbar, if we were to measure it, it's about 70, it's about 70 centimeters, 69 centimeters, so yeah, it's fairly small if you ask me, compared to the 900 and the, three, the old 300 sound touch, so yeah. Well. Thank you for watching my channel uh, for, and thank you for all the subscribers that have been subscribing so far and I hope I'm giving a lot of uh, good information to everyone but uh, until next time I will uh, wrap this up and just show you, show you the, uh, the final finished product in a minute. And here is the finished version, let's just put the, uh, the dent out so you can see it's like can't really see it now so that's really good so yeah um, thanks for watching and please do subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you bye for now